Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, here's what Amazon should do with the Colour Kinder. So there's a ton of speculation at the moment about whether or not Amazon are going to release a colour Kindle. I'm sure they will at some point. Um, the question really is when. Will they release it this year in time for this holiday season or will it be in 2026? Um, they are definitely behind the curve. So Kobo released the Kobo Libra colour um, and the Kobo Clara colour earlier this year. And there are a ton of Android ink devices with colour screens as well. Um, so Amazon need to catch up with the competition. Um, the question is though how can they make it really successful and what are the problems with colour ink and colour ink is by no means perfect so I thought it'd be interesting to make a video to talk a little bit about that I've got quite a lot of experience recently of using colour ink devices I've got four different ones um, so I've, I've kind of got some thoughts based on my use of them um, that I think are things that Amazon should consider doing in order to make their colour Kindle when they do release it as successful as possible now, I'm someone who doesn't use Kindles anymore. I use all sorts of different e-readers, um, but I don't use Kindles because I find that the Amazon store and the, the constant kind of pushing of new books to you just too intrusive. I find the experience on other devices but better for me as a reader. Everyone's going to be different on that, but that's my personal view. But since I decided to, to give up using Kindles and there has been all this you know, kind of speculation about Amazon releasing a colour Kindle. A few people have asked me in the comments, would you go back to Kindle if they released a colour one? My answer to that is no, because I don't think they're going to change their approach to, um, you know, kind of wanting to sell you books all the time. Why would they? That's, you know, that's their core business. Um, so for me, I'm not intended to go back to Kindle, but I do think there are some things I could do that would make a colour Kindle really compelling. So let me talk a bit about those. But first, I just want to talk about the limitations of, of colour ink. So the problem with colour ink is that really, unless you are reading colour content, it's a bit of a gimmick. So if you mostly read or, or entirely read like prose books, which is most of what I read, if I'm honest, then colour ink doesn't really buy you anything. You'll get like the colours in cover and things like that. But when you're actually reading the book, you don't get anything extra. And in fact, there are limitations of colouring that mean that even when you're reading black and white books, the, the experience can be worse than if you're reading those books on a black and white e-reader. And that's because the colour layer, the Kaleido 3 um, technology, sits on top of the black and white screen. So in most of these ink devices, you get a black and white layer um, and then you get the colour layer over the top. So if you are purely reading black and white content, you're only using that black and white layer. But the fact you've got the colour layer over the top means the screen is ever so slightly darker than it would have been without that colour layer there. So if you're only reading black and white content, then actually using a black and white device may be better for you. Now, having said that, if you're reading like comics and things like that, then colour screens do make a difference. I've read a load of comics on my colour e-readers and I've really, really enjoyed it. And even though the colours are slightly muted, I definitely prefer the experience of reading comics on something like an iPad where the colours are, you know, more vibrant but the I, I just don't like reading on that kind of lcd screen um so if you are reading color content um then you know color e-readers can be great so coming back to amazon then what should amazon do so i've got a couple of color e-readers here i've got the kobo libra color and the books go color 7 and these whilst they are similar in many ways they've got a similar screen size they've both got the same kind of color e ink technology they're very different in one key way. So the Kobo is much more like a Kindle. It's basically just for reading books. Whereas the books, um, it runs Android. So you can install any Android app you want on it, which, which is fantastic. So I've got like the BBC News app on here. I've got the Kindle app on here. I've got the Kobo app on here. I've got like Viz Manga and things like that. So I can read in any different way that I want to on the books device. I can use a wide range of apps and it you know, satisfies all of my reading needs in a way that the, the Kobo can't. So the Kobo, I can only read like either books I've, published, I've, I've purchased just from Kobo or books I've sideloaded onto the device, um, but I can't access you know, other types of content. So 
What I think Kindle should do is this. I think they should take more of the books approach. I think they should allow readers to install apps onto the device. And they've got a model for this already. So they already have the uh, Kindle Fire um, editions in a load of different, you know, load of different varieties, which are basically tablets running a, a forked version of Android. So a version of Android that Amazon have developed themselves. So I think a Kindle Fire with a colour e-ink screen makes a lot more sense um, than just a regular Kindle with a colour screen because you can access different types of content on there. But, and this is a big but, colour e-ink screens are very different from colour LCD screens. Whilst you can install any app you want on the books, many of the apps you install, the experience will not be great. If you're trying to watch videos on it, you, you can do, um, but it's not nearly as good an experience as watching them on an LCD screen. Similarly, you can install games on it, but the experience is not gonna be anywhere near like the experience of playing a game on an iPad or on your phone or something like that. So I think what Amazon should do is have a very tightly curated app store for their color ink Kindles. So yeah, run them on Android, allow users to install apps, but really tightly control the apps that they can install so that you are making sure they can only install apps where they get a good experience. So take more of an Apple approach to things where you are you know, controlling the way users use their devices to protect that user experience. I think if you do that, you could end up with a really compelling device. And if you think about all the deals Amazon's got with different publishers, I think they could easily come up with a model where they allowed you know, publishers to have their own apps on there, maybe with subscription services and things like that, so that you could read, you know, particular, you could, you could pay a monthly subscription and read books by authors you really liked if they were tied to a particular publisher. And again, Amazon have got a model for this. They do this with their Fire TV sticks. So the Fire TV service, you can, you know, through that, you can subscribe to a range of different film studios who set up their own subscription services. Amazon make it very easy to subscribe to those. And I wonder if they could do something similar with publishers on a colour Kindle. So yes, those are my thoughts on what Amazon should do with a colour Kindle. What they actually do clearly is up to them, but do let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're safe and well out there. I hope you're reading good stuff and I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.